Welcome to Movie Night. We're watching a re-zero Frozen Bond. We just finished Season 1, and I believe Frozen Bond is actually a prologue. So, things to do with Amelia, if it says Frozen Bond, I'd like to know more about, like, Amelia and Puck and how they were living in the boonies, like, in the mountains until Roswell found them. Let's begin today's reaction. Karukawa. Kanojo wo mamoru. Sore ga kimi no sonzai igi de ari. Satala, regression, Subaru, your entire reason for existing, your sole objective is to protect Amelia. That's my theory from the fucking beginning, right? But I don't know if this is directly related to that. Excessively interfere in her life. To watch over her from afar is the compromise between your existence and your wish. Are we talking about Puck? About how Puck can never fucking actually clutch for Amelia? Hmm. This is Puck's voice actor? I can't tell. Because everything that he just said, I, I think that makes sense for Puck as well. Because Puck is so fucking useless in season one, man. <laughs> Literally is only awake during times when we don't need Puck. And as soon as we need Puck, oh, I'm gonna go in and make sure break the auto and I'll be out. It's like, come on, bro. It's not Puck's voice actor? Okay. Oh, 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 what do you see there? Mm. Pots, kettle, camping gear, food, cooking shit, lamps. <laughs> Big scary monster. <laughs> Emilia. Does she look younger? I can't tell. New drip. I can't tell if she looks younger though. Lesser spirits helping to fight? Holy shit, Emily, you're so strong! Oh no. They could have totally hoard Amelia out here, bro. Cause like she's just wearing this little sweater and she just got like garter belt like stockings underneath and she's upside down. Thank god the cameraman's not doing any of the dirty here. Oh what's that tongue doing? Puck, where you at? I think that was Amelia, right? Amelia said, Yamate, stop, stop! And then something happened within, and then ice is coming from within. What was that all about? Was that Puck? I don't think that was Amelia. Was that Amelia? I doubt it. Oh no, on that too? Stay away, you half devil! Oh my god, it's Amelia's fault! Silver air, half elf. Yeah, which of envy? No! This kid's popping off. <laughs> this kid is fucking popping So it's looking like this is Amelia's power, huh? It went crazy. Like, I'm not sure exactly how much of it it is, but like, as Amelia loses control, like, so does the ice coming out of him. So, somehow Amelia has powers that I'm not really aware of that's uncontrollable, it's kind of volatile. Interesting. It sucks for Amelia, the kid is saying that, but if your dad was, you know, almost dying due to Amelia like this, I think I'd also be the same, but goddamn, this sucks. What a way to start the movie, huh? Wow. Did they all die? That's you. Poor Amelia. <laughs> she thinks that this is Roswell's robe. I can still see your silver hair, you half devil. Where is she? Just out in the mountains? Snowy mountains? 
That was a sad fucking beginning to the movie, huh? Damn, but goes to show you a little bit more of what Amelia's life was back in the day before even meeting Puck. I don't know where the hell this is, but I'm going to assume that these powers are Amelia's, right? Ice are coming from within. Uncontrollable powers. She has, I don't know, no control over them. Therefore, she decides to stay in isolation. And also, a lot of people, you know, discriminate against her. And present Amelia. Is this right after Memory Snow? The date, right? Wait, is this like right after me No, no, no. Like this point. Snow festival shit? And then the flower from the date, right? The casino episode that we saw together, right? What's up, Puck? <laughs> Damn, Puck! Tell me how you really feel about Subaru. <laughs> oh my god! I thought... Yo, Puck talking shit behind her back! I thought that Puck liked Subaru, what the hell? のことを思い出しちゃったから。それだけ。スバレは関係ないの。気祭りでたくさんの雪像を見たもんね。うん。だからちょっと今も森にいる。Still in the forest. みんなのこと。What forest? Who is there? Is there a forest tribe? Are there elves over there? What's going on? Who's your family, Amelia? Yo, these frozen statues are kind of scary. Oh, these are elves! Wait, 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 wait! Are we still at the same place? I think these are different. Dude, these are elves! Right? They got elf ears! I, I, I... Wait, wait. They're letting us know that the other people in the forest, everyone who's still in the forest, this is them. And they're all frozen. I think that's what's happening. Okay. Here we go, frozen bond. And now forest again. Amelia's house? Hut? She cries in her sleep. Oh. <laughs> this is too sad, man. So lonely here. There's nobody. And everyone's frozen. <laughs> you see that? I saw that. Little little booty clap to close the door there. Bop. Mm. Yep. This is how she does her skincare. Does she even brush her teeth? Like, there's no, like, running water system. How does he shit? Where does he- where, where does she go to the bathroom? <laughs> We're just, like, bare grill. It's just wilderness out here, huh? It's fucking tough out here. She's just roughing it out. And everyone's frozen? She takes care of them. This is beyond lonely. For whatever reason, the other elves in the forest, they're all just frozen. And it's just her. No one else. What's she eating? Day-to-day -day life of Amelia in the forest, huh? There's no food! She running out of nuts! Oh no. I'm surprised that she survives out here by herself, like, so self-sufficient. <laughs> so, there is, like, the elf forest, but if you wander out a little bit more, there's, like, a human village, okay? <laughs> it's the scary lady again, oh my god! Man... That just, just, that just like makes even more sense of how she's like, didn't want to go to the village of Subaru, right? Because like, not even just the prejudice there, but even in the past of this village, everybody just hates her, man. Hello. Antaka. You got some nuts for me? Oh, this merchant guy doesn't discriminate. You better give us more nuts. 
Yeah, the shoes are really tattered. The merchant seems nice. He's actually thoughtful. Yo, this merchant guy is like the only homie here. Aww. That's so nice. And then the next day. <sighs> this movie's sad. This movie's so sad, bro. What the fuck? She's so happy that she just talked more than usual and it's just like all lonely and dark and sh <laughs> And like she's all happy about that shit, but it's like It's so sad, bro! What the fuck? I thought it's gonna be a happy movie! EMT! EMT! She goes out to take care of the elf. Oh, puck. What do you want me to call you? Okay, so like, this isn't their first time meeting. They've met before, so Puck has been just kind of monitoring Amelia from beyond. Okay, Puck. <laughs> Motherfucking taking days off, bro. Fucking Puck leaving her all alone. He's even more useless in the movies, man. Yeah, we did. Yeah, Mr. Merchant, so nice. Oh,まあ、きれてるとも思うよ。あ、きれたのが理由でもまま行けばひょっとしてお天気の話 <laughs> she just wants to have a conversation. She just wants someone to talk to. Does this make you guys want to self-insert yourself thinking I'll be your hero? I will save you, Amelia. This is all planned out to pander toward you fucking white knights. Why is it always snowing here? Yeah, like, she's always taking care of the frozen statue of the elf. For whatever reason, they're frozen, and she's always wiping them down. How are they frozen? Do you think she froze them all? Accidentally? Like in the intro, right? Amelia accidentally, like, froze that dude from within, the monster, and, like, something happened here, right? Maybe Puck did it. <laughs> Puck froze them all, so that Amelia would be fucking dependent on Puck. No, Puck isn't that weird, right? I don't know. Hey, we heard about this. Self-indulgence during the conversation with Subaru and Emilia about indulging in all these affections and validating Emilia. Taida mentioned! Oh, no gluttonous life. How about a slothful life? No Why? That's a word I can't stand for some reason. Have you met Betrigus of this line? Because, like, Taida, Betrigus, Slot, Archbishop, Sin. But when Puck met Betrigus in that run, when Biku threw us out with Emilia's body, and Betrigus showed up, and then Puck showed up later, did it look like Puck actually knew Betrigus? He said, You've lived a couple decades, right? And how would you just assume that? Because he looks old? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know, but this is kind of weird. This is kind of interesting, huh? Probably. What? There was the robe that she picked up in the intro, right? Where she fucked up with, quote-unquote, killing the family. Therefore, it's to remind her that... She is someone to be despised and she hides her right self, right? Read her mind, bro. Puck knows though, right? Puck just simply wants to immediately to say something to have a conversation. I'm not sure. But Puck can read minds. Kind of. Understand people's feelings and stuff. How slothful, Puck. 
<laughs> Unseen hand. What was that? What was that? Unseen ham, bro. <laughs> Goodbye. Now, Puck's just trying to make her laugh. Hope that's not a flag for later. Yo, no more nuts. She eating stew? Nice. This is such a lonely life, though. Oh, my God. Please, someone take her out of here. Roswell, when are you showing up? I'm actually so happy Roswell showed up to pick her up. Or else Amelia would have just been in the forest forever with Puck. Not doing shit. And then Roswell one day showed up in memory of snow. We saw that, right? Roswell and Puck had like a fight. Roswell picked her up. But why would Roswell even know that Amelia was here? How did he even realize that she would be the chosen one for the candidate? Roswell just flying around. Hey, take this insignia. Hey, take this insignia. Oh, it glows red. I pick you. I doubt it was a random choice like that. <laughs> Amelia mining. <laughs> this is basically Amelia just farming, right? Like, you mine this shit, then you bring it to the merchant, then you trade it for goods. <laughs> what kind of analogy is that? <laughs> Cleaning up someone's ear? <laughs> Very cute state of her just swinging her legs like this while mining, bro. <laughs> Oh, market. That's right, economy. Don't flood the market with it. What? There's still so many parts of the forest I don't know. So we're in this, like, weird forest where Amelia's from. There's elves, there's frozen. Now she's just going around. Untouched mind in the Dothran thicket. Meandering forest? Wait, it's actually called a meandering forest? Doesn't meandering actually mean something? Like, meandering, following a winding course. What does going meandering mean? Moving slowly in no particular direction or no clear purpose. <laughs> Sounds like it. Just, I don't know if she made this shit up, but meandering forest. Okay, she, 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 she just making this shit up. Because the way that she's naming it is very boomer-like, right? There's this repeated theme of Emilia saying really old sayings, right? That shit has been something that's been reiterated over and over and over. Like, Super is like, who says that? <laughs> Very cute. Emilia farmed hard. <laughs> and Puck already gone. What a piece of shit! Didn't even say goodbye this time! Puck? Wow. Oh. What the hell, Puck? What are you doing? Fire. Because remember, Puck is the great spirit of fire, right? And you're thinking, what? No, no, I'm not sure if it's the great spirit of fire, but Puck isn't using ice magic, right? Puck is like removing heat or adding heat. Therefore, he can create fire like that. But if you've taken, like, physical chemistry, in, there is no concept of cold. It's always heat. Either you add heat or you take away heat. That's the fire there. More time for what? Forever? To watch over her again. What, what, what did he do? That, what did, fire. I don't see anything being lit on fire. It was a random fire saying disappear. I don't know what just disappeared here, though. She needs more time. If possible, forever. For what? What? <laughs> to watch over her from afar is the compromise between your existence and your wish. This is towards Puck, right? I don't know what Puck's wish is, but Puck's existence... To, he, he, just like a nice way for Puck to not ever do anything. She's not ready yet. For the contract? Because the contract hasn't been made yet with Puck, right? I don't think so. Because we don't have that crystal where the Puck goes into just yet. <laughs> Baby Amelia! Does she sleep and cry every night? Why is this so fucking sad, bro? <laughs> what the hell? Uh, I don't know what's happening here, but it's Kid Amelia saying she's scared.
that dream again. Something's haunting her? Like a repeated nightmare? Serious face. You're leaving me? Don't do anything dangerous. What do you mean dangerous? Puck's serious today. He's not joking around. Why? Is something... Cult members showing up? Archbishops? Not tell wait, 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 what's going on? Why is she I don't think it's gonna be Daijobu, man. Emilia, Puck said don't do anything. Walk away. Oh no. Huh? <laughs> Zesty man, nice eyeshadow. Not looking bad at all, my man. Okay, okay. It's like a cage. Uh, what are they doing, bro? <laughs> Is this the thing that Puck was warning us about and now we fucking got caught? Okay, I think they want to capture Amelia and put her in the fucking cage. <laughs> They're here to get you, I think. Come on, man. What was that? <laughs> what was the implication of the cameraman there? I'm a pervert. I'm a pervert. A cameraman? Mmm, Emilia Leg. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> Bullshit, bullshit. You guys lost in the war against the demi humans. Demi humans are obviously like these cat dudes, you know. You guys, elves did? What the fuck? There's like beast people superiority here. I don't know what happened here though. Some sort of war? Ew, bro. Pay for the villagers come with assisting a demi-human. So like villagers, demi-human, merchant, Emily going in, getting nuts. Now she... Just fuck him up, Emily. Kill them. Thank you, Glitzy, for the sub, man. Creeps! They're frozen! What the fuck are you gonna try to do? Stick your dick up an ice statue? <laughs> what are you gonna do? I understand. If they realize that she does look like she she is the silver-haired half-elf, will they be scared? I wonder. <laughs> You're scared. Silver hair. Pointy ear. Bluish purple eyes! Oh. Satala! Oh. Man! Call me crazy, but this is the first person that's never been turned off by Amelia's appearance so far. Everyone else was. Ooh, witch! Go away! Devil! Devil! This guy's like. Oh, damn! I, I'm inclusive! Okay! What a good guy! Okay, accept that part, accept that part. <laughs> Puck did warn you. Those kids, especially the merchant, man. Do it for the merchant. That merchant, Giga Chad. <laughs> Whoa! I mean. I didn't think that she had, like, martial arts like that. What? Okay. I, I thought she was a helpless spirit art user from range, but she, she got hands. She, she can kick, she can punch. Hand that coordination's crazy. She just caught an arrow. She, 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 she just caught an arrow. She, she literally just caught an arrow, bro. What? Damn, 
That's the craziest thing. She's so nice. She's still looking after these evil people, bro. <laughs> Man, there is this weird thing of like how triggered he got when he got told something. And notice how there's like a cage too. Like, I bet humans used to put like this dude in a cage. At, at like, like a beast. And he's got so traumatized by it. And now he's going around trying to put other things in cages. But Amelia technically isn't even those humans that like fucked you up. She's also considered a demi-human, right? Um, I thought demi-humans are... I thought she's in half. I thought demi-humans are just like beast people, but... Is he just straight up human? What about the pointy hat? What's going on here? The conversation is weird. I thought this dude was a demi-human. It's all over the place. I thought these are demi-humans mad at humans. He skinned the animals. Okay, never mind, never mind. The conversation before about how like you demi-humans... I forget. That was weird. For whatever... <laughs> I saw the pointy hats. I saw that, okay, the demi-humans lost the war, human supremacy over demi-humans. Bro just wants to put shit in cages. The fact that the village interacted with the demi-human like Amelia, right? It's bad, you know, you shouldn't be doing that. That's their logic. Put him in a cage. Which <laughs> fiend coming? There's something coming. There's something coming. <laughs> Monster's coming. <laughs> oh, Giant snow. <laughs> Yeti. <laughs> it's just like the intro monster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the grip strength of this is stronger than the unseen hand, bro. Oh. Lethal snowballs could be. Holy shit, bro. That's like an ice ball. <laughs> You're too nice, Amelia, but that's her entire character. These motherfuckers should have been dead. Aww. Wait, wait, what's going on? What's going on? Her eyes are glowing. The powers are about to go crazy again, right? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's about to go insane. <laughs> Just like before. Ice from within. Ice from within. <laughs> That's crazy. What's happening? People freeze up. So, is she literally freezing their blood from within? And then the ice comes out? Is that what's happening right now? Because, like, the last monster, too, the ice came from within, right? What's being frozen? What liquid? It must be their blood? <laughs> <laughs> Amelia's powers might be more scary than her, bro. I'm not really sh than this Yeti thing. I'm not sure. Yeah, it always comes out from the wounds. But, like, if you want to freeze something, you need some sort of ice substance. It doesn't just... There's some sort of humidity. It seems like whenever the monsters stop moving, right? It sounds like... It just feels like the blood got frozen. <gasps> oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you freeze and, and then it sucks the blood out? Oh my god. That's very beautiful, but also fucked up. That's scary power. That is a scary power. If blood gets frozen, then why blood comes out the flower? Because there's more blood, and then not every blood freezing, bro. It, it's looking like ice comes out, sucks all the fucking remaining blood out. This is beautiful and scary. Horrifying. I don't ever see Amelia using these powers in season one because Puck is around. Amelia right now is magic user. Magic is all about using the mana from within. A spirit art user makes a contract and then pulls the mana externally. The contract with Puck is to maintain Amelia's powers? Maybe? I'm not sure. <laughs> 
Yep, the same shit, bro. <laughs> she is powerful, man. She is extremely powerful, but she doesn't know how to control any of this shit. And Puck said she's not ready yet. So this is what we're waiting for? <laughs> is Puck just waiting for Amelia to be able to control her powers? I'm not sure. And she said preferably forever. Because Puck realizes what a danger Amelia is if she just gets out, out of this forest. And therefore, Puck wants Amelia to stay here forever, at least until she knows how to control the powers. Puck shows up. Alright. <laughs> what did I say super oof? He's not even fucking ee into this world yet. Puck. Father! Where were you? And this happens? I don't know if now is the right time for this, Puck. I love how Puck's trying to be nonchalant and casual. Like, oh, it's just... It's just a little boo-boo. I'll fix it up. Okay. Deep breath. Wait, 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 wait. That's beyond deep breath. <laughs> Puck just made her sleep. Okay. And if she passes out, the powers also stop. It looks like the blood's not getting pulled out. Oh, oh, we can just do that? Okay, Puck, I see you. Well, of course Puck can do it. Puck controls the heat. <laughs> right, right. Let's go, Puck. One of the few times where Puck is very useful. Here it is again. But you are forbidden to excessively interfere in her life. I don't know who is speaking on behalf of Puck. This is an interesting too, right? It's just like, due to your existence, your compromise is watching from, from, like, over her, right? You cannot interfere. So there is a plot lore-related reason as to why Puck is quote-unquote useless. But, like, who put this shit on it? Who's saying this shit? There was a girl of voice. All I can imagine is Satala, right? Puck ain't here. This should be good. Merchant man! <laughs> oh, he feels bad about the other dude. Because they probably hit him up first and then, up, right? <laughs> okay, by the way, how many people are watching right now? 337. Of course, there's gonna be new retards in chat that don't know how to behave. Usually, I don't read chat because you guys are just attention speaking fucking idiots, right? All you wanna do is say, PLEASE! Look you spoil, I'll probably ban you. Just shut the fuck up and watch. Just have a good time. That's all you have to do, bro. All you gotta do is just some stay true and spam some emotes. Just shut the fuck up. Let me do my thing, dude. <laughs> What's going on, Mr. Merchant? I had to tell them about you or this village might have been, yeah, the other dudes, right? That uh, tried to attack Amelia, so he feels sorry about that. <laughs> we, won't, we won't do anything to you. Don't worry. But it is snowing a lot harder. Do they think that Amelia is doing this? No? On a bright note, you know? We're having a long conversation beyond just the weather right now. This is kind of okay. It's okay, Mr. Merchant. <laughs> What the f what? Are you Amelia? I, I I thought she would say it's okay. Everything's gonna be fine, but this is a warning shot. Do not step a foot in the forest. And the other dudes, the shitty people that showed up. Yes, they did that, but it's not really the merchant's fault. I... 
I'm confused. I never knew there was this side of Amelia before. This adds so much more depth to her character. Never seen this shit. I've never seen this side in season one. This is the first time I've ever seen her actually get like this upset serious. So like, what now? The next day, she shows up to the merchant guy. Can I have some nuts? <laughs> well, how does their daily day-to-day -day interactions happen now? Because we still gotta get food from somewhere, bro. This is not the last time we're talking to Mr. Merchant. You know? <laughs> like, 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 what's gonna happen between us now and ne the next day I show up? It's gonna be awkward. I know she means well, but that I never expected from her, man. No more nuts? Ooh, new witch title. Not just the Witch of Envy, the Witch of the White Forest. So the forest that Amelia, you know, is in is the White Forest to them. The Frozen Witch. Witch of Envy, Frozen Witch, the Witch of the White Forest. Yeah, we should have killed him. We should have killed him. Monkeys like this are never gonna learn, bro. Oh, this guy rich. What the hell is going on? What is going on? Set up. Okay, and maybe that's what Puck was doing before when he was busy, right? And I don't know, maybe he had a day off, but also Puck was doing something else when he gave the warning call to Amelia. You did the same shit? Puck! Terrifying Puck. I mean, the whole gap moe of like, you know, Puck being cute and terrifying, that's the whole point, but like, damn, Puck, you. Both Puck and Amelia just showing us these dark sides in this movie. Your the beast to be the beast of the ends territory. You, the beast of the ends? Is the beast of the end Puck or is that something else? Beast of the end. <laughs> beast of the end. It sounds like he's referring to Puck as that, saying your, and then he says, sorry, the beast of the ends. Huh. Got a lot of titles. Frozen Witch, Witch of the White Forest, The Witch of Envy, Beast of the End, Great Spirit, Die Seire. Huh, interesting. I mean, we've seen Puck fuck shit up after Emilia died multiple times in season one, but Beast of the End, huh? Ia! Ia? Nah, Ia's not here. I'm gonna assume that was Puck's fire attack. We rarely ever see Puck actually use fire, but I'm gonna assume that is Puck. Maybe it's Ia. I don't know. Puck. What's wrong? Is he scared? It's scary. It's scary. He does. Kind of like Subaru too. What? Yeah. We can't get nuts anymore. Where should we go? Still sleeping here. These aren't just random statues of ice. These are actual elf people that were frozen. Why are they frozen? Did Amelia lose her powers and freeze them all? Did Puck do it? I don't know, but Amelia's taking care of it. She has like this responsibility. And they're elf people. Amelia's a half elf. Maybe they used to live in this forest a long time ago. Then something bad happened and only Amelia's a survivor. And now she just feels like she needs to look over this forest and take care of them. She feels the responsibility. Here we go, contracts! Contracts! 
いざという時僕がそばにいられがあるのは思い知らされたからね美精霊がいれば君の助けになる How about a spirit? How about you? Then you're gonna leave me? なんでもないそれじゃ Did Amelia imply that? Does that mean you're gonna leave me if I make a contract with the lesser spirits? That, you know, I won't need you anymore or something? Um, sure. But we know Puck is gonna make a contract with Amelia, but they're choosing the lesser one first. You're going to leave. Me too. Who left her? Maybe her friends and family by turning into ice, right? She's just alone. And like, we need to understand what the hell happened that led up to this. But like, everyone ends up leaving. But hey, <laughs> having a pest like Natsuki Subaru just always cling on no matter what, honestly, doesn't look too bad anymore. You know what I mean? Because up until now, I don't really know what kind of past she has, like what she's all about. But with all this backstory, it's just like, god damn, if only she has some sort of like companion. If only there was someone actually chasing her because she's so fucking lonely and sad. Ia, what's going on, Ia? We're melting the cold shit? Is this Puck doing it? Not only have you sent your eyes, you've sent a part of yourself, I see. So this is not Puck. This is a part of that thing. Part? Roswald? No. Is it? I'm a mediator. Mela Quera, flaming pony, divine mythical beast. Mediator? <laughs> Emilia's blooms. She's playing, he's playing defense for Emilia, but like the mediator finds problem in the forest because there's too many blooms, like what Emilia's doing. The half elf? Interesting. A mediator, someone that shows up to make sure there's harmony and balance, right? I warn you. Omen of destruction of balance. He's. I don't know exactly what this being is, but I'm just gonna assume, like, again, what is a mediator? Someone that, you know, gets in there to make sure that everything is, like, balanced and everything is, like, guided. But he's here saying, like, uh oh, there's too many blooms. Whatever Amelia's doing right now, this is causing a balance of some imbalance of something. Omen of destruction of balance is upon us if things are not maintained. Okay. <laughs> Enforce judgments, perform mediation. <laughs> I don't know why this is funny. Because this dude is just talking in random fucking weird words of being very vague and mysterious and mythical. Puck is like, please, just. Can you just speak some English? Japanese, sorry? Which. <laughs> Okay. Amelia is the witch that he's talking about, right? We're gonna find a mediator? Oh, I mean, he said witch. I think he's kind of aware. Man, I would love to know more cut content lore about what even is a mediator, how many mediators are there, how powerful are they. Even Puck is scared of it, right? They probably have. Like, but if he comes after us for real, it's all over. So, like, power scaling wise, it sounds like that Melaquera guy is like stronger than a great spirit. <laughs> Nightmares again. And then Amelia wakes up crying in bed. Is she naked? Puck? Puck is crying. Did Puck do the soul? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is Puck's voice, right? Puck? I left you alone. I 
あなたの名前はバカ名前は<笑>パックは泣いている。パックは私を泣いているのです。エミリアは泣いている。ビジュアルは非常に不明確です。私は泣いているのです。エミリアは泣いているのです。私は泣いているのです。私は泣いているのです。私は泣いているのです。私は泣いているのです。私は泣いているのです。私は泣いているのです。私は泣いているのです。私は泣いているのです。私は泣いているのです。私は泣いているのです。私は泣いているのです。Because something is shattered, Emilia shows up, then Puck says, I'm so sorry for leaving you alone all this time. Puck shows regret for leaving Emilia in this frozen place, right? Emilia's confused because she probably just woke up because I left you alone. And if that's the case, and if Emilia is a frozen being from a long time ago, that also explains her weird language of being boomer talk, right? That makes sense, right? The beginning visual, something shatters. Puck says, I'm sorry for leaving you all alone. So, Puck, a long time ago, for whatever reason, wanted to be there for Amelia, but Amelia got frozen away. And until all this time, Puck finally found her and unsealed her, but maybe there were some conditions required to unseal it. I don't know. This, 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 this dream is very interesting. This, it, it seems like that is what's going on, though, right? <gasps> Lesser spirits. <laughs> Even the spirits leave her, bro. Come on. There you go. What's up? Hello. Picking on them? Puck is going around to other lesser spirits and saying, Hey, go talk to Amelia. She's lonely. And the other lesser spirits are like, hey, she's weird, I'm scared. And Puck's like, go talk to her. And they go there, and they're like, and they run away. I don't know. Cat burglars. Where you found me. Dream where I woke up. Woke up from that seal? From within the ice, still. So, this is direct confirmation. So, she was sleeping in the ice. She has no clue how she was frozen, though. How fucking convenient. But Puck knows. Puck knows why. Because he shows regret of, I'm sorry it took me this long to find you. Puck, you know the fucking plot. Tell me. Thorny Thicket, a new name. <gasps> What's up? Yeti? Yeti again? A different monster. Oh, Mob Beast, Witch Fiend. Interesting why they decided to go with Mob Beast here instead of Witch Fiend, even though it's the same translator. It looks like a Chimera. Guilty Lord. Just a big black ball with like robes. Uh, this can't be good. It's like sludge. What is that? Nani? It's like darkness sludge. <laughs> Dark Rimuru. Dark Rimuru uses gluttony. Freeze it. Is this the omen of destruction? Is this what Meloquis or whatever that thing was warning us about? Because like this is here to like, like somehow there's some sort of like balancing system in this world and due to Amelia's fucking shit up, a different being had to show up now to maintain the balance of this world and this it's it's just some correcting monster? No, 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 not yet, not yet, not yet. No way, no way, it's over yet. No, 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 no. Are you sure? Okay. Venom of a black serpent. Wait, wait. That moving sludge was just the venom of the black serpent, not even the black serpent. 
Wait, what? There's a big snake? And then the poison? Is literally sentient and moves around and absorbs shit like that, like Rimuru? What? <laughs> 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 I'm not exactly sure what Puck did there, but basically took the black sludge and compressed it, compressed it, compressed it, and then disintegrated. Uh oh. <laughs> what should we do, Puck? I want to make up with the merchant guy. I feel so bad. The merchant guy was actually showing kindness in the beginning, and then immediately just like flexed on him. <laughs> no, me motherfucker. Step another foot in your I kill you. Hmm. Honestly, I agree. Maybe I'm wrong, right? But. It's a fucking cruel, despicable, evil world, and kind people, her soft heart's gonna get taken advantage of. She's just always gonna be going around trying to like, help people that honestly are not gonna repay that favor. It's just, it's a tough lesson, but one could then say, what kind of world is that where your entire belief system and morals are based on just like people being shitty? Is that such a nice world that you'd wanna live on? Maybe we need someone naive and idealistic as Amelia to really bring on forth change where you don't need this like, Sigma grind set of being a fucking sociopath and looking after yourself only and I don't know. Maybe Emil's got a point, but right now, ideals are simply ideals until you realize them. Bye Puck. Where is it? Oh Melaquera! Mediator! Cap. I know, I know. I swear to god, this thing only knows how to say like three things, bro. It just say the same shit. I am mediator. Melaquera. Enforced judge. You just speak broken Japanese, bro, trying to seem all fucking mysterious and shit. It's cool, ちょっと回れ右してパッパか置かえりおうまさんおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいお
He knows. Yep. I already what? I already possess. So, do you tell me Melakor did this shit? Like, this is his way of mediating and holding balance to fucking release the venom here? Like, is this his actions? Or maybe the lesser fire spirit is from Melaquera and it led Amelia here. Maybe that's what that meant. I don't know. Gotta go save them. Yo, Emily is sick in the movie though. Oh my god, this whole ice boarding is sick. Her like physical martial arts is sick. Her powers are sick. Like Emilia movie is so much better than Emilia in season one. What the hell? <laughs> like that's the craziest shit about how the venom is sentient. It knows how to attack. It's it's thinking. It's moving. It engulfs. And like if you touch it, you're dead. It just forever consumes. And it's just a venom. It's just a venom. Not even a snake, bro. <laughs> Emilia! Nah. <laughs> Yo, is Emilia to pop off? Emilia main character moment. Fucking crazy ice powers activate. <laughs> Here's the monologue, here's the monologue. Here we go. She's got her signature line, Suboku. There it is! <laughs> yeah. The power scaling going crazy right now, look at the aura. What the fuck form is this, Amelia? That's crazy. She can't control it though. Oh yeah, she is beyond powerful, huh? It's looking like whatever the contract is really just like all about sealing Amelia's powers away. Like this shit is out of control, huh? Like before the contract, before she was a spirit art user, like bro, she's crazy. Like, all that ice was hype, and now she loses control and she freezes this shit on top of that. Like, what? Whoa, whoa. Mom? Sister? Mom, sister? Daughter? No, not daughter. Mom or sister? Mom or sister? That's a cult close. Green haired dude. The only green haired dude I know in cult clothes is Betrigis, but this does not look like Betrigis. Honestly, looking at his hair, it looks like an Ikemen. What is what's happening? Because this is cult clothing. This is not Krush. This is not Krush's brother. Is this what Betrigis looked like in the past? What happened? He just subscribed to Sotella's OnlyFans and just went deranged? This is when Betrigi still had it? Then after he subscribed to Sotella's OnlyFans, he just turned into a deranged lunatic? Like, he looks fine. His skin complexion, everything. Right? Looks like a normal person. What is this shit? And he's holding onto the hands of, I presume, the person we saw before this. Do we know any lore of Betrigi and... Emilia in season one? No. But it's looking like there's like past history of Betrigus and, and like, and like, and like these are memories of Emilia. This is not a random fucking flashback of anyone else. This is a flashback of Emilia's past. Betrigus is involved in it? Along with like Emilia's family? And she's like crying? This is fucking crazy.
This is crazy. Like, there's potential for Betrigus to come back in Season 2 now. Hype! Hype! Or at least through a flashback, but like, this is insane. <laughs> She's so powerful. The spirits? The spirits left? I don't think there was other frames before that. You're lying to me. I saw everything. Right? It was it was the other other girl. It was another girl and then was there one more? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, 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 no, 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 no. Because, because I was focused here, right? I was focused, I was focused on this, but no, 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 there was people getting frozen. Yeah, yeah, right there. So, these are the family, right? This is the family. The three family, the three people statue that we commonly see, the mom, dad, and kid, we see this one. These are the elves that were frozen. So, it's looking like the movie's trying to tell us that Amelia lost her powers and froze everybody. Maybe she even sealed herself. Something crazy happened in the past. Amelia lost her powers. Everything is frozen. Puck ends up finding Amelia only and frees. Well, Puck, well, Amelia probably wasn't frozen like this. I'm not sure what kind of condition they are in right now, but I'm going to assume that this is Amelia going berserk and freezing everything. <laughs> Lesser spirits leave. <laughs> So what was that? Did the lesser spirits help out clear up the power? Because it looked like she was going berserk. Then the lesser spirits went outside. Then bloom started to happen on the ground. And suddenly she is controlling powers again. I'm not sure. Yeah, we were led on lesser spirits. There was a barrier there. Okay, the meat eater is coming back in. A barrier was there. Look, look, look. Maybe a lesser spirit clutched there too. <laughs> yeah, maybe these are the same rocks, huh? Like the same rocks? So what? Amelia- I thought these are random ass fucking rock crystals. That's like rare minerals, but it's looking like Amelia just like makes this shit. <laughs> This is a different voice. This is a different voice from the mediator. This sounds way more confident. Wait, this is... Okay, I take it back. It's not Ia. This is not the Ia I know. What the fuck? I thought there was a mediator showing up, but this is the lesser red spirit that was like guiding us here, right? This is not Ia. Who is this? Who are you? Is this not the guy, the, the demi-human guy that we took out before? His face looks like it. Yeah. How are you back? And he looks, and visually, it just looks like the mediator, right? Because the mediator also had like blue flames, red flames like this. But combined with the fucking piece of shit human, how did she get this power? <laughs> Pops like mediator. I lent my body to him in return for revenge. So it looks like he made a deal with the mediator? I don't know. <laughs> he was attacked in this alley by a spirit? I thought that was Puck. Puck used like fire attack. But Puck was inside. See, I thought Puck teleported out and used fire attack, but that fire was actually the mediator instead. I'm 
Oh shit. <laughs> Looking like a volcano itself. Look at that shit, bro. He turned into a spiral and then started to get rubbed. No, our forest! You, you, you're half elf. You have the same appearance, I know. But we're born with the same cursed blood? What the fuck you mean by that? Now, this is, this is very interesting. There, there's a lot of different things you could say about this part, right? Because, like, we know that she looks like Satella. But when you say the same cursed blood, one could assume that, oh, every half-elf and half-human, they have, like quote-unquote blood that's bad right it's like mixed blood Ooh, you're a mud blood being like a slur right you could you could assume that for sure but then another interpretation is Amelia literally has Satala's blood right at this point with these subs I'm not sure that would be crazy if the connection was with Satala's blood but it could just be more just like racist shit of like oh half human half elf you have the cursed blood Ugh, I don't know. The witches have come to us. He's not really wrong about that part, right? Because Amelia is probably the chosen, you know, vessel for Satala to, like, possess the body. But that blood shit, hmm. That scene again where she froze everybody. Those scenes again, yeah. Because she lost her memories. In the past, she lost all those memories. This guy's now getting her memories back. This is kind of good, actually. I just realized. They've only said in the beginning, white hair, silver hair, bluish purple eyes, pointy ears. And they said witch, witch, witch. No one's ever said half-elf yet, because obviously she's lost the memory. She didn't even realize until now. <laughs> Contaminant? She's taking care of the forest. Yeah, that same family, right? The three people here. We saw them get frozen. Seems like it. And it's looking like Puck is the one that woke you up. So ask Puck why the fuck he didn't wake everyone else up. Tell us, bro. Lore. Read the fucking mood, bro. How are you gonna fucking say that immediately after she begs? Please, what have I done wrong? What is my curse? Why do I exist? <laughs> I don't know shit, actually, even though I talked all that. Come on, brother. <laughs> Yeah, then what are you doing here? You don't know shit about the crimes that apparently we committed. What the fuck are you here to mediate? Exactly. Give me a reason. Imagine not even being aware of why people hate her. Every day she goes into the village. Everyone is scared of her. They call her a witch. She doesn't even know why she's a witch, bro. She has no fucking idea. And now she realizes half elf. Okay, but what have I done wrong? Just please. I just want to know. But we'll never fucking know until maybe season two. <laughs> well, this part we kind of know, right? It's all about the lore of Satala and how the Witch of Envy consumed like half the fucking world. <laughs> Simply existing is a sin. Then you know what? Fuck this world. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> it 
And Melia's pouring her heart out asking fucking questions. But this is a fucking chatbot with pre-programmed messages. <laughs> he doesn't know how to say anything else. This is so fucked up. Okay. Danzai. Shikou. Oh, oh shit. No, no, go back, go back, go back. Go back. <laughs> shit, sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I got too, I got too excited there and started pressing way too many buttons. <laughs> Puck! Save me, Puck! So come on. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But remember the part about how Puck cannot like interfere excessively? Does this count as excessively or not? I'm not sure, right? Are those rules meant to be broken? Is that a fucking contract? I I'm not sure, but all right, let's go, Puck. Mm. You know what? The more I think about it, the more I start to realize that, like, fuck the world. You know what I mean? How Puck goes crazy. Now, he doesn't, he doesn't go crazy. When Amelia dies in season one, Puck destroys the world. And the more I think about it, of how Amelia's treated, like, you know what? Fuck this world. The beast of the end? Bring an end to this piece of shit world, man. Like, like, I can totally understand more and more of, like, why Puck is willing to just go out and just, like, end the world when Amelia dies. Yeah, are you stronger though? Alright. <laughs> That's just a cliche thing where the villain starts laughing and laughing and laughing. Think they got it. He's like, wait, what do I? What? Huh? <laughs> Freezing. <laughs> You're freezing fire? Okay. Puck donut it. Puck donut it, bro. Holy shit. But remember, Puck is like controlling heat, right? Just because it's on fire doesn't mean that I think it's unbeatable, right? If anything, Puck should be able to just like take that heat away and just freeze him. <laughs> This is what you call burning the flesh to crush the Od. Remember what the Odo is? It's some sort of container, right? The outflow of mana. We learned that of memory snow. <laughs> So he got his Odo there and crushed it. But like, he's not Puck. Therefore, if you just like, you know, break the Odo, then like Puck comes out and does crazy shit. But interesting. Yeah, basically his core. You can think of it like that too, I think. Puck OP. Puck. But is Puck gonna get punished for this? Like, what are those set of rules in the beginning? Emilia, Puck. Let's make a contract. Half-elf? Yeah. Well, that's why Puck was crying, saying, I'm so sorry. That it took me this long to find you, right? Hanma. Hanma. Emilia. There is no way Betrigus is dead, right? Who the fuck is her mom or dad? I've only seen in the flashback young Betrigus before he goes crazy and buying Satala's OnlyFans and a girl. There's no way, right? There's no way. I <laughs> know, no way. 
and and Emily was already there in the flashback where Bet where Goose was a young Goose was seemingly holding the hand of that other white haired girl with the elf the elf girl holding it. There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> no, 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 no. But, but if that is the case, oh my. Oh shit. Oh shit, dude. It's gonna get messy. I know. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. There's no shot. Puck is so emotional when it comes to the, this topic. <laughs> Are we getting punished right now? Excessively. Is that the part? Is this the punishment? Like, what the fuck is this? What? Red light? Was that the mediator? I don't know. In the sky. More mediators? Other mediators? Puck, no! What's your name? You're dumbass again. At least show me some other fucking different mediator. You showing up with your dumbass fucking NPC line. Metaquita. There are just multiples of them, huh? They're all Metaquita. All the mediators, they're all the fucking same thing. It's just some sort of fucking hive mind. There's some sort of fucking system. And the mediator is all connected to this fucking hive mind. They can only say like a couple fucking things and they don't even know what they're doing. They're just programmed to fucking deliver justice. Toaste. Then why am I here? Very good question, right? Who knows, man? Like, it could be the case that when Amelia accidentally froze everybody, the way that every other person was frozen was not the same way that Amelia was frozen. And if you look at everybody, right, it looked like they're just like, they're, they're, their bodies are frozen like statues. But in that one scene when like, she was having that nightmare, it seems like the walls were crumbling, right? And I thought that Puck like, found Amelia where she was frozen and like, broke it apart and says, Oh, finally, I'm sorry. It took me this long to find you or something, but... It mu it's different, the conditions of how she got frozen than everyone else. What's this a bunch of fucking broken Japanese? Basically, your existence will cause other people to die around you. Your entire existence is a sin. You will bring upon a calamity to this world. If the day of the ordeal, I guess, goes through and Satala, you know, possesses her, I guess that is true. <laughs> and if the whole world craves your death, then I totally understand again why Puck would want to just say, Fuck this world, dude. End this world. <laughs> Puck! Puck! <laughs> Beyond just like the affirmation, right? And like this, this crazy voice acting from Puck. How does Puck know this, right? Emilia was born because she was wanted, she was celebrated. It seems like. Like, how much further back do we know? Does Puck know Amelia's parents? Is Puck supposed to be some sort of, like, godfather or some shit? Like, because, like, clearly Puck has a lot of, like, personal, like, stakes involved with Amelia. Puck cares a lot about Amelia. Even if she's a half-elf, it doesn't matter. There is Puck's lore. Like, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> and in episode 25, when Amelia says, I'm so happy... Damn. Subaru giving her all that happiness, man. Damn. Watching this movie kind of makes you appreciate cringe Natsuki Subaru always clinging onto Amelia no matter what, huh? Like, it... <laughs> I'm honestly happy he does that because, like, she has nothing else.
この子のどこが世界の女の子だ黒蛇の毒でわざと危険な状態 OK so it was a black serpent shit they did fucking release that shit you guys are fucking insane You gonna talk shit about fucking maintaining order and balance But you fucking unleashed the fucking serpent's venom. That's fucking crazy. That is an insane thing to do. <laughs> Details. Argument. Meaningless. I am Mediator Melaquera. Shut up, I already fucking know. <laughs> Fuck fate, then I'll change it. <laughs> Should you interfere too deeply in our life? Everything that makes you what you are, and I in my head canon right now, this is Sato narrating. Your memories, feelings, and goals. They will be lost? If you interfere too much, if you get in the way too much and you bail her out, everything what you are, your feelings, memories, and goals, they're gone? Puck gets his memories wiped if he tries too hard to interfere? This is seeing the frozen Emilia? Got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, this is when he found... So, like, the whole reason why Puck was sorry that it took me this long to find you is because Puck lost the memories. For whatever reason in the past, Puck interfered too much. Emilia got frozen, shit got fucked up. Puck lost the memories according to what this narrator is saying, and then it took him a long time to finally find her. Now she, he feels guilty about it. I think that makes sense, right? <laughs> Wait, hold up. In other words, you will cease to be you. You will cease to be you, right? When the memory gets wiped. Contract made here? Huh. Metacura can't interfere? When it... Metaquita probably is some sort of spirit thing too, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a secret dialogue between a spirit and his contractor. Okay, you can't interfere this, interesting. It's like the rules, so Metaquita needs to follow it too. Yeah, you said make it with lesser. Yeah! And a 17 year old neat from Japan is going to give you that happiness. <laughs> That's great. Got it. <laughs> all this suffering, all this suffering, such ancient mythical lore. And who gives it the happiness? This fucking loser from Japan, 17 year old, does nothing with this life. <laughs> it's true though. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? <laughs> どこにも行かない。ずっと君と一緒にいる。行け。ないでいてくれる。僕より君のこと。うん。スーパーは Real form. The big cat form. Big cat form, right? Wait, what? The four great contaminants? Hold the fuck up. I thought that there were the four great spirits. But the mediator Malakota calls them a contaminant. 
he sees the Great Spirits also as a threat to the world. Because it would end the world, beast of the end. And the meteor's job is to make sure that this world exists. Even if there's atrocious shit happening, as long as the world exists in some sort of fucking defined balance to them, I guess it's fine. Yo, look at that. Look at that real puck, bro. Look at that stank face. Yo, true puck. He ain't so cute now, is he? Badass cat. その旅臭い呼び名。あんまり。その勤務、恐怖。なぜランジ。どんな世界でも幸せになるために頑張れる子だってこと。僕が信じてるからだよ。ランジ、半分の。サウンドトラック。ランジ、ランジ世界人口
君が僕を必要としてくれて、okay. 大変だったんだよなんせ生まれて何百年初めてのことだったんだよかったって僕が幸せな気持ちになれたのがハッピーだよ When you finally found Amelia again? When you first met Amelia? I don't know ありがとう Amelia is a source of Puck's happiness though 幸せにしてくれたんだ君が目覚めてこの森で君と過ごす時間の僕を幸せにしてくれたんだよ、うん、ずっとパックに言えなかったことがあるのん ?I love Subaru 私、oh. パックのこと好きよ No time for I love Amelia jokes because Amelia actually does love Puck お父さんみたいで<笑>ごめんごめん。だってそれ君に最初に言われ。まさかパック。Before But we don't really know half elf, half what, right? It's half elf, half what? I don't fucking know. That other half could be Puck for all I could know, bro. <laughs> Just a fun thought. All the past memories. See, he was crying. He was so sad it took him forever to find her. Because they met before, she went crazy, she froze everything, and now she's back. And like, my guess still is that because he kind of broke the oath before, he, he lost the memories and it took him this long to get here. Or maybe that's wrong, and it just, for whatever reason, it took him this long to get here and feels guilty about it. I left you alone. Leah doesn't even know what you're talking about. Yeah, I couldn't find you. Because lost memories, or just because it's hard to find? The ending. ボクはパック。これからも君のためだけの精霊だよ。え君が怖い時手あげる。君が楽しい時運んであげる。君がお父さん。ああ。ファーザー。それってお父さん。オッケー、this more memories coming back. That's good though. Leah. It's Leah now. Yeah, pet name. Leah. Yeah, the Amelia appeal is going up. This movie is making Amelia really rise up. <laughs> there it is. And this is how you get pet names established in a wholesome, genuine way. While Subaru says, Emilia done. Then Emilia goes, What's that? It's a pet name. It's for people that's close together. And Emilia goes, I don't think we're really that close. <laughs> Is there anything after the credits? Let's see, let's see. Oh! Alright, post credit scene time, guys. Let's see it. Back in present timeline, maybe? Memory Snow stuff? Hey, there he is, main character! Subaru? <laughs> This statue kind of looks like the family that Amelia froze that we kept seeing over and over again. But hey, there's Subaru! Oh. Yeah, the specific one. Yeah, because it reminded her of the family, you know, it, back in the forest, right? この説相が溶けちまうのが寂しいんだ。早くから皆で集まって。何を敷いているんだ。
one on one time. Thank you. That's right. Emilia Tan was happy with me. I'm happy with that. They're melting. They're melting. Well, no problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. One day, maybe they'll melt. And like this gives her hope that one day the people of the White Forest, the elves, will return. Okay, okay. <laughs> maybe one day the people of the White Forest will also come back. I'm more worried about the oath for Puck though, man. And I think that's it. And that's it, man. The Frozen Bond. Re... Zero. God damn. Memory Snow was more... Fun times, right? Just like a slice of life, just happy go time. Feels like an OV, just having fun. This is like... Prologue shit. This genuinely could be said. This is where the real Re Zero begins. <laughs> well, it's closest to the thing that we're gonna get to the prologue, right? Because this shit happened before episode one, but... Damn. I think one of the most important things that we learned is obviously Emilia's past about how she grew up in this forest of elves but a long time ago some event happened and she went berserk and presumably her powers went out of control everything got frozen including herself and Puck I'm not sure I may, Puck probably already met Emilia before that happened right and then Puck for whatever reason took a long time to find Emilia is there a specific reason why he couldn't find Amelia for a long time? Wouldn't it make sense that he'd know exactly where she is because she's, he spent time with her? Does it have to do with the oath about how if you interfere too much, your memories, your, you, you, who you are, you will be forgotten. So maybe Puck lost sense of himself, he got himself too involved, Amelia was sealed away, frozen, and then somehow Puck got his memories back after many, many years and has come back to re-break it, and Amelia you know, has no memories of herself anymore, but it's slowly coming back. Puck says that Amelia is like his reason for living. I'm not sure exactly why. The movie doesn't go into details of exactly why that is the case, but Puck's source of happiness is Amelia to the point where if this world craves for Amelia's death, then fuck the world. I wished the death on this world. So the ender of beasts, the beast of the end, that does make sense. And honestly, it's just like, I'm, I'm down, right? Fuck this world. Of These fucking mediators? This is so interesting, right? There's somehow this like world system police of beings trying to make sure everything is in harmony. So there, there's such an interesting lore there. And then I guess the biggest question of it all is, who is this girl in the beginning? This being that apparently, I'm gonna assume that made an oath with Puck. Well, at this point, the most intuitive guess is Satala, I guess, because it's like, who else could it be? But that's not the only option, and after that, I have no clue. It just seems like it's gonna be Satala. There's no other voice actor I've heard this voice from before. So I'm not really sure. I don't know, but Puck has an oath. And different from a pact, a covenant, a contract, an oath. You make this oath, you break this shit, there's consequences. And Puck said just casually that, oh, everything's gonna be fine. I'm not really too sure myself, but hopefully it's gonna be okay. I'm worried, man. I'm worried about what this is gonna happen in the future. But hey, fantastic movie, and I think this sets up very us. Uh, this sets up this sets us up very well, so that we can go into season two with this information. And that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.